Icons, your season is ready with a little spin. Icons, your season is ready and you better not buy this shit. So if y'all haven't heard, y'all favorite Star Crunch Face Bandit, Miss Netta, is coming out with seasonings. Who is going to buy this stuff? I hope that you do not buy the seasonings at all. One, Miss Netta cannot cook. From the food that Miss Netta actually posted, the food that we actually seen Miss Netta cook in that kitchen, and... By us seeing Miss Netta not washing their hands, actually rinsing their hands off on that dirty towel they always have in each video, who in their right mind would sit here and spend close to $13 for some seasonings that you can buy at Walmart at a cheaper price? See, now Miss Netta is being money hungry, trying to get people's money because, you know, they sitting out there in the streets, Miss Netta and Charles are going broke that they don't have money like that no more since they're not doing this little tour thing they used to do that people used to go to just to see them eat food and say, Charles, your lunch is ready. Now, for the people who actually did that, something wrong with y'all. Y'all gonna sit up here and spend like 40 something dollars to see somebody say, Charles, your lunch is ready and sit sit there and watch Charles eat. What kind of content is that? What kind of entertainment is that? It's not. And I'm gonna say this, and I think I said it before. I think Miss Netta's content is garbage. Now, Miss Netta, like last week, said on a broadcast trying to make it seem like, oh, we make this money, we have this, y'all sitting here watching me, and I just made um, 28K just for y'all watching me and just staring at me and hating me. But if you made that much money, why you still look like garbage? Why you still look like trash? Why do you look like that you don't bathe at all? Why do you look like you stink? Because it looked like you got a little stankness to you. And then Charles, Mr. Radio, he's not cute at all either. Y'all both be dressing like y'all homeless, but you're saying that you got this money. But you're still looking like trash. Just saying, that's just my opinion, nobody else's. But you're trying to sell seasoning. And who actually gave you this idea? Because you can't cook. So I'm trying to figure out who really is going to buy this. And I want to know if it's FDA approved. And I want to know where are you making these seasonings at. And I want to know who did your website, honey. Now you said on your live yesterday that the website is going to be professional and all this other stuff. Now I seen somebody video that was going through the whole entire site. And they seen so many misspelled words, sentences, and all kinds of other stuff. It was a professional. And then on the content, when it say content, I mean contact this person, it goes to the site that's actually hosting your website because you haven't had that set up. It looks like you just like threw the whole website together to try to get these seasonings out. But who's pre-ordering seasonings? I don't get that. If you don't got it on hand, why are you trying to um, get pre-orders? That's making me think that's a scam. Because why you don't have any of the finished products like ready to be shipped out? And why is anybody buying these seasonings? And then one of his seasonings is called, what was it, Kicking Chicken? That's from somebody else's stuff. That's somebody else's phrase, a big company out there that actually used that phrase. So nothing is original at all about your seasonings. It's just a ripoff. So I see anybody who buy this seasoning, um, I feel like that you're going to get 50% mm, spit and 50% seasoning. Because, you know, when Miss Netta be cooking, spit be going everywhere. Like, I mean, everywhere. And then anybody who has a dog in the kitchen while they cook is nasty. Anybody who don't literally wash their hands after they touch any food that's raw is nasty. And then all these meals that you're coming up with, mm, it's not kicking at all. It's not cute. 
Charles be sitting up there telling you lies, knowing that stuff is half nasty. No, all of it's nasty. Especially that pizza that you made, that taco pizza that you made last week. Or the week before. That was just nasty. So, mm -mm, don't buy that seasoning. Get in touch with the FDA and tell them about Miss Netta doing this. Because y'all remember the pink sauce girl who was selling um, that pink sauce in stores and they were sending people like riding um, freaking pink sauce because it had a ingredient in it that you have to keep cool, keep in the refrigerator. But she was selling it and the sauce was bad or the, uh, what you call it, the sauce box was um, had a lot of air and stuff in it. But she actually had some company that actually helped her out and she started selling it at Walmarts and stuff. But something happened where she went broke and you really don't hear anything about her no more. At one minute she was doing good, making money. The next minute she wasn't. So I think by Miss Netta selling this, you know, seasoning um, and not having the FDA approval. I think something's going to happen. Somebody's going to get some seasoning. They're going to get sick or they may die. I'm not wishing death on anybody. But something bad is going to happen because you can't just rush and make something and try to sell it to people to try and, you know, cook with it and stuff like that. And plus, it's like a ripoff because I looked online, too, and just to order one bottle, it is 20 something dollars. Now, if you order like four or um, forty dollars worth, the shipping is free. But I'm like, Miss mm, Nutter, you came up too fast with this seasoning. You wasn't thinking it out. You just wanted to get it out there. And nine out of ten, you're using someone else's seasoning to actually make your seasoning. And then, oh my God, the back of the bottle is empty. It don't tell any ingredients. It don't say anything or what it's made of. Um, so if any of y'all got food allergies out there, do not buy this at all. I don't want nothing to happen to you. Everybody get in touch with the FDA. Let them know what's going on. Um, this needs to be shut down as soon as possible. It's good to make money, but when you're doing it the wrong way, it's not a good look. But that's all I want to say. Do not buy Miss Netta 50% seasoning and 50% spit. Because I ain't telling what's going to happen to you. Mm -mm. Don't give this man your money. No, no, no. But thanks for looking at this video. Uh, more videos are coming soon. Thank you for showing love. And I will holler at y'all later. But stay away from those seasonings. Do not buy. Do not pass go. Do not eat it. I don't want y'all to turn into hamsters. You know. Mm -mm.